Hello my friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikolai Nenov, and I am a certified food expert and pharmacist. Today, I am going to talk about something really important, intermittent fasting. The concept of intermittent fasting has sparked widespread interest in the fitness community, especially among those seeking to lose weight and preserve muscle. Still, one burning question remains. Does intermittent fasting destroy your muscles? You may have already come across conflicting opinions and anecdotal evidence. For that reason, by the end of this video, I'll provide you with clear information on this topic, backed by scientific research and real-life examples, including actor Terry Crews' regimen. Understanding the processes of muscle growth, anabolism, and breakdown, catabolism. Muscle growth and breakdown are fundamental processes that determine your muscle mass and overall physique. To understand how fasting interacts with these processes, it is important to first understand how muscles grow and break down. Mechanisms of muscle growth. Muscle growth, or hypertrophy, occurs mainly because of the stress placed on them during physical activity. When you engage in resistance training or lift heavy weights, you create micro-tears in the muscle fibers. Muscle growth results from the repair of these micro-tears during the rest period after the workout. This process isn't just about lifting weights. The recovery period is just as important. Mechanism of muscle breakdown. On the other hand, muscles can reduce their volume or atrophy when not subjected to physical exertion. For example, astronauts in space often experience muscle atrophy due to the lack of gravitational force. Similarly, if you are bedridden or lead a sedentary lifestyle, you can lose a significant amount of muscle mass. Your level of physical activity largely influences both muscle growth and breakdown, as these processes demonstrate. The role of nutrition in muscle preservation is significant. Understanding how your body stores energy is critical to understanding the role of nutrition in muscle preservation. Your body stores energy primarily in two forms, glycogen and fat, triglycerides. The liver and muscles primarily store glycogen, a storage form of glucose, for quick bursts of energy. Fat, on the other hand, serves as a long-term energy reserve. Unless you are in a state of severe malnutrition, body fat percentage around 4%, your body typically conserves protein, which makes up muscle tissue, and does not use it as an energy source. When you starve, your body first uses glycogen stores and then switches to burning fat, thus effectively preserving muscle protein. Misconceptions about protein and muscle loss It's a common misconception that eating more protein or calories directly promotes muscle growth and that cutting calories causes muscle loss. However, muscle growth is more dependent on physical activity and muscle loading than calorie intake alone. Proper nutrition plays an important role, but it is not the only factor. When practicing intermittent fasting, it is important that your diet during periods of fasting includes enough protein and essential nutrients to maintain muscle mass and reap the metabolic benefits of fasting meal timing and muscle preservation. The timing of your meals also plays an important role in muscle preservation, especially during fasting. Eating protein-rich meals during the eating window can help supply muscles with the amino acids needed for recovery and growth. This approach is consistent with intermittent fasting regimens, such as the 16.8 method, where you can focus on nutrient-dense meals during the 8-hour eating window. This way, you can maximize muscle preservation and growth even while fasting. Additionally, incorporating a combination of complex carbohydrates, healthy fats, and lean proteins will ensure a balanced intake of nutrients that are essential for overall muscle health. Practical Tips for Nutritional Intake To effectively incorporate fasting while preserving muscle mass, consider using some practical nutrition strategies. First, Emphasize complete protein sources, such as lean meats, fish, eggs, and high-quality plant-based proteins. Second, include a variety of vegetables and fruits to make sure you're getting enough fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Third, don't avoid the healthy fats found in nuts, seeds, avocados, and olive oil, which can provide sustained energy 
and improve the overall health of your metabolism. Finally, stay hydrated. Water is key for muscle function and recovery. By following these guidelines, you can get the most out of your fasting regimen without compromising muscle preservation. Research on intermittent fasting and muscle preservation is underway. Research has provided valuable insights into how intermittent fasting affects muscle preservation, and the results may surprise you. One of the landmark studies, published in the Obesity Journal in 2010, looked at the effects of alternating stages of fasting and eating over a 70-day period. Participants alternated fasting for one day and normal eating the next. The results were intriguing. Although there was a significant reduction in fat mass, from 43.5 kg to 38.1 kg, fat-free mass, which includes muscle, actually increased from 51.4 kg to 51.9 kg. This leads to the assumption that intermittent fasting does not lead to loss of muscle mass. In fact, it may even lead to a slight increase in lean mass. Another study from 2016 compared two control groups. The first practiced prolonged calorie restriction, while the second alternated periods of fasting and eating. Both groups experienced weight loss, but the fasting group experienced a more significant increase in lean mass percentage, 2.2% compared to 0.5% in the calorie-restricted group. This highlights that intermittent fasting may be more effective than prolonged calorie restriction in preserving lean muscle mass while promoting fat loss. Taken together, these studies suggest that intermittent fasting can preserve and possibly even increase muscle mass. Furthermore, studies have demonstrated that fasting elevates growth hormone levels, a crucial element in preserving muscle mass. Growth hormone levels naturally increase during fasting, helping to maintain and even build muscle mass. This hormone is critical for muscle repair and growth, making fasting a beneficial practice for muscle preservation. Therefore, scientific evidence suggests that, when conducted properly, intermittent fasting does not destroy muscle but can actually aid in muscle maintenance and overall metabolic health. Growth hormone plays a crucial role in maintaining muscle mass. To understand how intermittent fasting affects muscle preservation, we first need to know what the important role of growth hormone is. Growth hormone, produced by the pituitary gland, is an important factor in growth and metabolism. It reaches its peak during puberty and gradually declines as we age. This hormone isn't just for adding inches during your teenage years, it continues to influence your muscle composition and body fat metabolism throughout your life. When you starve, insulin levels drop, which in turn stimulates the release of growth hormone, helping to maintain muscle mass. Growth hormone carries a number of benefits that go beyond simple muscle preservation. Increased levels of growth hormone can lead to greater lean mass, younger-looking skin, and increased bone density. These benefits contribute to a more youthful appearance and better overall health. There is considerable evidence to suggest that increased growth hormone levels during fasting help to counteract muscle breakdown. This means that fasting can promote muscle maintenance without the adverse side effects often associated with exogenous growth hormone treatment, such as elevated blood sugar or fluid retention. Research supports these claims. For example, one study revealed that treating individuals with low growth hormone levels with exogenous injections resulted in a 3.7 kg increase in lean body mass and a 2.4 kg decrease in fat mass. This remarkable transformation underscores the ability of growth hormone to assist in both muscle preservation and fat loss. Now imagine being able to reap these benefits naturally through intermittent fasting without resorting to injections. When you fast, your body increases its own production of growth hormone, which can help you achieve similar results. So how can you use fasting to boost your growth hormone levels and preserve your muscles? Here are some actionable steps. Incorporate intermittent fasting into your life. Implement a fasting regimen, such as the 16 to 8 schedule, in which you do not eat for a 16-hour period, but eat two to three times within an eight-hour period. Perform fast workouts. Train during intermittent fasting to get the maximum benefit from increased growth hormone levels. When you break your fast, 
eat nutrient and protein-rich foods to aid recovery and muscle growth. Monitor your body. Pay attention to how your body responds to intermittent fasting and adjust your regimen as needed. If you can understand and use the role of growth hormone, you can turn intermittent fasting into a powerful tool for muscle preservation while reaping its many other health benefits. Real-world examples When it comes to real-world examples of intermittent fasting and muscle preservation, the story of Terry Crews stands out as a perfect example. Crews, an actor and former NFL player, follows a 16-8 to 8 intermittent fasting regimen in which he fasts for 16 hours and eats food within 8 hours. This approach has not only helped him maintain an impressive physique, but has also improved his overall health. Crew's regimen includes fasted workouts, which is fully consistent with the scientifically backed benefits of increased growth hormone and noradrenaline levels during fasting. One of the most significant benefits of the Cruise regime. Fasting increases noradrenaline levels, which in turn improves focus and energy, allowing Cruise to take his workouts to the next level. This increased intensity is critical for muscle growth because it puts a significant strain on the muscles, encouraging hypertrophy. When you hear Cruise talk about his training, it's clear that intermittent fasting played a key role in helping him train harder and get better results. In addition to the intensity of the workouts, crews also benefit from faster muscle recovery. Increased levels of growth hormone during fasting help promote faster recovery by stimulating protein synthesis and muscle repair. This means crews can maintain his strict training schedule without worrying about prolonged recovery or excessive muscle soreness. For anyone who engages in regular physical activity, faster recovery changes the rules of the game making intermittent fasting an attractive option. In addition to the physical benefits, intermittent fasting offers crews a host of anti-aging benefits thanks to the increase in growth hormone levels. Unlike exogenous growth hormone injections, which can have adverse side effects such as high blood sugar and blood pressure, intermittent fasting naturally increases growth hormone levels without these risks. Looking at Terry Crews, you can see firsthand how fasting can be a powerful tool for preserving muscle mass and improving overall quality of life. For fitness enthusiasts and those looking to improve their body composition, incorporating intermittent fasting can be a very effective strategy. Conclusion So, does intermittent fasting destroy your muscles? The answer is not clear-cut. While intermittent fasting can potentially lead to muscle loss, Factors such as the duration of the fast, your level of physical activity, and your dietary intake play an important role in reducing this risk. Scientific research and real-life examples, such as that of Terry Crews, show that intermittent fasting combined with fitness training and proper nutrition can aid in muscle preservation. Hormonal changes during fasting, particularly an increase in growth hormone, also contribute to muscle mass maintenance. Thank you for watching our video. If you've enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest content. And as always, if you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from my viewers. Your feedback is invaluable and inspires me to keep creating informative content. Remember, your health is your wealth. Stay healthy. Stay happy and let nature's wonders amaze you. See you in the next video.